What's good guys, I'm John the Chief, and for today's video we'll be showing you exactly how handling works in Dying Light. As you can see, I'm using a Correct Machete V2, and I am swinging my weapon, and you can see the stamina consumption is going relatively slow. I have only level 3 in power, so I have no stamina upgrades. Now, as you can see right here, I'm using a Crack Machete V2, but this time I have four King Mods on it that give it plus eight to handling, which is over doubling its original handling. And as you can see, that bar is going by a ton slower. It is actually going about less than half the speed that the basic Crack Machete V2 was going at. So, they are actually swinging at the same exact speed, but they're just having different stamina consumptions, which is actually what handling does. Now, this is a common misconception because of when you upgrade your weapons, it says that handling is the speed at which your weapon swings. Unfortunately, it is not. It does not influence the speed at which your weapon swings. It actually only influences the stamina consumption when you swing your weapon. So, this all gets negated when you actually hit power level 24 because the very final upgrade that you get will make it so you can swing your weapon as many times without getting tired so you're consuming no stamina which makes handling basically useless you don't need it and this makes it so barbarian mods are actually just as good as king mods when you hit max level because barbarian mods will give plus two the damage and durability but nothing to handling while king mods will do the same exact thing except it also gives plus two to handling but since handling is useless when you hit max level barbarian mods and king mods are basically the exact same for someone who has power level 24. I hope I cleared the air on this misconception anyways hope all of you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day